I want to encourage the civil society partners who are here, especially if you have been positioning locally, that you need to you need to widen your scope, broaden your strategy, because there are there are many opportunities out there. And those who have been saying that COVID caused a lot of losses and poverty, COVID just changed the way resources are managed. The classical NGOs often rely on funding from the West. And that creates a relationship that is very unequal. So that's what codependence is, that the, 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 the relationship is unequal. And I also said that sometimes the way we have worked in and with communities also creates that codependence. You know, communities will not come if there is no transport refund. Communities will not convene if you have not called them. So we have, I think, both ways created that codependence and what I was saying is it's time to redefine that relationship in a way that enables us be mutually dependent because that's what it should be. So there was a slowdown in terms of uh, implementation of the activities that we could um, that we could hold. The other thing is that uh, this can be seen both as an opportunity but also as a pitfall was the need to use more technology because um, of the fact that we were in our homes, working from our homes, and therefore we needed to see how we could leverage on technology to continue to do the work that we needed to do. Now this also meant investment because we had to invest in ensuring that all our staff, for example, had the equipment that was required.